I want to uh, officially welcome President Sirleaf uh, to the Oval Office. Uh, I have been uh, an extraordinary admirer of her work. She wanted uh, to see the children of Liberia. Uh, her own personal story, obviously, is extraordinary. Somebody who came uh, from uh, being a prisoner uh, to the first female president, uh, not just of her own country, but uh, also on the continent. In 2006, when our government started, we inherited a broken country, devastated by war, people displaced, infrastructure broken, institutions dysfunctional. But we said that we were going to make Liberia rise again. I would be remiss if I did not express my solidarity with the people of Zimbabwe. Until the situation in Zimbabwe is resolved, the entire region will feel the effects of instability, and a dream of democratic and accountable government will remain unfulfilled. Ellen Johnson Sirleaf is Africa's first democratically elected female president. Since her inauguration in 2006, she has contributed to securing peace in Liberia, to promoting economic and social development, and to strengthening the position of women. And in the most trying circumstances, both before and during the Arab Spring, Tabakul Karman has played a leading part in the struggle for women's rights and for democracy in Yemen. Advocate, develop documents and never talk. By the time you don't raise this issue, you've given rise to an increased sexual violence and rape in post-conflict context, and that's the situation we are faced with in Liberia. So it's almost like impunity, Amnesty, rape is something that you can continue to do away with because no one will ever raise the issue. And for those um, women and other groups going through peace talks right now, I think it's about time that we step away from that lie that if you raise this issue, it's going to jeopardize the smoothness of the process. Leima Bovi mobilized and organized women across ethnic and religious dividing lines to bring an end to the long war in Liberia and to ensure women's participation in elections. She has worked to enhance the influence of women in West Africa during and after war.